Hi, my name is Siti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. Now, today's video is the first in a series of five videos on the Wix platform. Now, I'm going to walk you through all the things you need to know in order to use the new ADI platform builder from Wix. Now, ADI stands for Artificial Design Intelligence and it's going to make creating a website super easy. All you need is a couple of photographs, some text and it automatically makes a website for you. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is open up your browser and navigate to the Wix homepage. So let's do that together. Let's go to Wix.com. Now once on the Wix homepage, it's important for us to create our own Wix account. So let's go ahead and click on Get Started. Now here it is asking us to either log in or sign up for a new account. Now we can also continue with Facebook or continue with Google. Now the easiest one is to click on sign up or continue with Google. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to use my Google account. I'm going to give it permission. And there we go, it's saying, let's get started. Now I'm going to skip this part because what I'm going to show you is I'm going to use the Wix ADI to create a website for me. Now ADI stands for Artificial Design Intelligence. And just by answering a couple of questions, it is automatically going to create a website for me. So let's go ahead and click on start now. And here we go. What type of site do you want to create? Now I would like to create a website for my online training. So let's go ahead and type in online training. And there we go. We have trader trader training. Let's select this type of website now you can see we also have it training school training program there are many different available now i'm going to click next does your website need any of these features now does it need to be able to sell online yeah, i would like to be able to sell online does it need to allow to take bookings and appointments absolutely am i going to ask for subscribers yes and am i going to create a blog yes i am also going to create a blog so i'm going to tick all four now depending on the website that you are trying to create you might not need all these boxes ticked so let's go ahead and click next what is the name of your business or website now my business is called eduflip.net so i'm going to use that as the name as well so eduflip.net where is your business located well we are currently going to skip this because we do not have a physical location let's skip this section and there we go i can review and edit my info here we have our email address we can add an address a physical address a phone number and we can add our social media so i'm going to go ahead and add my social media so let's go ahead and click the first link which is going to be the link to my twitter so as you can see here i have my twitter handle right here which is sdc thailand so we're going to add this Twitter handle and it automatically recognizes it as a Twitter handle. We can also add our Facebook handle. So let's go ahead and add our Facebook. At the moment, our Facebook is located right here. So we are going to copy this address, paste it. And again, Wix ADI is automatically recognizing it as a Facebook account. We are also going to add our YouTube channel. And as we paste this, it will automatically be recognized as a YouTube account. So you can see Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We are also going to change our logo. Now we're going to click on the plus icon. Now I already have my logo downloaded. So we're going to navigate to our downloads. And here we have the logo. So let's go ahead and upload that right now. And just review, we have our logo, flipped classroom, the name, Eduflip, the email, a physical address, phone, fax, and the social media. So let's go ahead and click on next. And Wix ADI is now going to suggest a couple of styles. Now we can choose clean, chic, hype, classic, horizon. Now I'm going to go for sky high and we're going to click on continue. Now, Wix ADI is asking me if I would like to use the colors present in my logo, and I do want to do that. So I'm going to click on create a palette. It's now going to scan my logo and take those three colors from my logo as the palette for my website. So I'm going to use these colors. 
And as you can see, Wix ADI is now adding everything that I have requested. So it's adding my headers, my welcome section. It's adding everything I wanted, including booking forms and an online store. Now everything has been added and now it's asking me to pick a favorite homepage design. So there are three suggested designs. We have this one on the left, where when we scroll down, we can see that we have beautiful pictures. We have the colors from our logo all used on this page. We have this middle design where you can see the logo gets a bit lost. So I might not opt for this one. Scroll down, we again have these colors, and then we have this sleek, clean design on the right with the logo, the title page, with the logo, the different menus, and then a number of icons. I really like this one, so I'm going to select this one. I click on it, and my web page has been generated. I can now start tweaking this, and I can also scroll down to see exactly what this page looks like. Now, as this is only the first version of my website, what I can do is I can tweak everything manually. So here you can see that I can either preview my website or go ahead and publish it. But before I publish, I want to preview my website. Now in the top right corner, there is a button that says preview. And let's go ahead and preview our website. So we're going to click on the preview button. This is what our website will look like to the rest of the world. So when we scroll down, we'll see our courses and programs. We have a number of images that we can change. We have different courses that we're offering. We have a get in touch. There's even a physical address, which we are going to remove later on. And you can subscribe to the blog. At the top, we have different pages. We have a shop. We have a book online. And we have a blog page. So as you can see, it's a very powerful platform to immediately get started on creating your first website. Now I'm going to click here because I want to close this preview window. And I am now back in my editor. Now in future videos, I'll show you exactly how you can change all the content on this page, how you can add pages, how you can add sections and how you can tweak the details. But for now, thank you for watching. And there you have it. The first video is all about how to create your first Wix ADI website. Now, it couldn't be easier. So let me know in the comment section below if you have ever used Wix ADI and what you think are the benefits of using this. And tomorrow I'll be back with another video on the Wix platform. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.